Alia Bhatt says whenever she wants to uh, get an award, yeah. she literally visualizes herself in the mirror saying, I got this award. And she acts as if she's receiving the award. Bruce Lee had actually written a letter mm -hmm. that in this particular year, I will make a movie and I will charge $1 million for that movie. And he actually made that movie, uh, which made him famous. And the biggest celebrity, Shah Rukh, said it himself in that movie. अगर किसी चीज को पूरी शिद्दत से चाहो तो पूरी कायनात उसे तुमसे मिलाने की कोशिश में लग जाती है अब ये सिर्फ एक फिल्मी डायलॉग है या रियलिटी? वेल well, आज के हमारे संडे ब्रंच गेस्ट का मानना है कि दिस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्रू ऑन दिस एपिसोड वी हैव द मोस्ट ट्रस्टेड लॉ ऑफ अट्रैक्शन के कोचेज Mitesh and Indu Khatri who are going to tell us how you can convert your dreams into reality. Mitesh and Indu a very warm welcome to Sunday brunch. Thank you. We have some real life celebrities today who are making dreams come true. So you know I've met a lot of couples who are probably in the same profession but both of your lives are based on the same principles. Yes. तो सबसे पहले तो मैं ये जानना चाहूंगी वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज लॉ ऑफ अट्रैक्शन सिंपल आंसर इट्स द वे टू फुलफिल योर ड्रीम्स एज यू करेक्टली सेड इट्स द साइंस एंड द आर्ट ऑफ फुलफिलिंग वॉट यू वॉन्ट इन योर लाइफ एंड अचीविंग दैट इन योर लाइफ थ्रू स्पेसिफिक साइंटिफिक टेक्निक्स मतलब मैं जो सोचू वो सचमुच हो सकता है yes. Absolutely. To put it in simple words, simple no words. matter what what I dream for, are there any boundaries, barriers? Yes. There are. There, there are. are. Okay. Yes. 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 There are boundaries. Like for an example, somebody is watching this and they're thinking, "Can I have a date with Kamya?" No. You can't, you can't do that. So you, you can't just think it and get it. Right? <laughs> so and as coaches, as law of attraction coaches, what do you guys do? So one is we do courses on what we call as advanced law of attraction. Okay. Most people are aware of what we call basic law of attraction. Hmm. which is simple techniques like you must have heard about things like affirmations yeah. vision board hmm. gratitude technique hope yes. no no yes. these are all basic law of attraction techniques you'll always yeah. find them freely available on youtube but when you really get into advanced law of attraction hmm. those are the things that we teach in our actual course hmm. other than that we focus on helping people achieve four areas of life which is okay. health relationships career and money yeah when we say 10 years of success in one year yeah the confusion is we think time equals success hmm. which means the more time i put in something the more successful i will get in something yeah but think about it is that really true if that was true then why are some people succeeding faster than the others like why is elon musk more rich in less time right ambani's took so much time to make money yeah elon musk has made that money in the last only few years yeah so is success really equals time the more we see successful people the more we come to know yeah. there is a science that they are following which is helping them to get there faster law of attraction gives us the practical tools and techniques hmm. to be able to feel what you need to feel hmm. so if i had to give you the formula for law of attraction mm -hmm. this is what's law of attraction hmm. feel think believe and act as if you already have it first act also act also as if act you already also. have it you have to first uh, think about what you are looking for have hmm. the clarity of it start feeling about it hmm. then thinking about it hmm. then believing that yes you deserve it you hmm. will get it hmm. and then taking action towards it to let's hmm. take the example of coming to your podcast right okay so once i started thinking that okay i want to go for it we started thinking about it then we started taking action towards it now okay let's connect with kamya how to go about it let's find out is it is there a way to go on her channel can we get introduced on her channel can we talk to her can yeah. we in, uh, interact with her okay well, yes what are the actions then yeah. we took the actions and we appeared here it's like that simple now the question is is only action enough hmm. because everybody would say work hard you get there yeah. but is that true a lot of people work hard yeah they get the dream job I mean, everybody <laughs> believes that yeah. <laughs> i also believe that i do a lot of hard work but you're saying that it's more than it's more just than hard work so let's understand what is that part working hard only is enough good point mm. then labors they should be more successful yeah, than any labors we don't i mean look at forget the labors house mm. helps yeah. in our houses oh yeah they, they work, work they work so hard anyone else. they work much harder than we work right yeah. they should be more successful than we are but we are they are not Right. So it's not only hard work. So what is yeah. the action part? The action part is doing. Mm -hmm. But why everybody's action doesn't give them the results that they want because mm. it's not backed by feelings, thoughts and beliefs. Yeah. I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you want to lose weight. Mm. Now, most people mm. they when it comes to the concept of weight loss, mm -hmm. they're feeling lazy, thinking they want to lose weight. Wow, you're <laughs> speaking my mind right now. <laughs> you don't okay. need to lose yeah. weight. You don't need to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> they're believing that i don't even know if it it will help me or not yeah. and their actions are going in a different direction so if you see there is a misalignment between yeah. our feelings our right. thoughts our beliefs and our actions 
Right. That misalignment doesn't lead to results. How do people using specific techniques align that feelings, thoughts, beliefs and actions in one line, then effortless action happens. This is what is called as inspired action yeah. rather than desperate action. Desperate action is when you look at someone else and say, I want this. Hmm. And now you start taking action. Yeah. The question is, is it backed by the right feelings, the thoughts, the beliefs? Right. That's law of attraction. I want to know how did you guys <laughs> attract each other? Law of attraction. Because, <laughs> because to have the same thought process, you know, as a couple is very difficult in today's day and age, you but know. We started with the same thing that he believed and I did not. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, yeah. We so she was skeptical. With... She's an engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm a logical person. Logical person. Yeah. She wouldn't believe in it. So when we met, he huh. delivered law of attraction. And we... How did you guys meet? So I was attending a training program of uh, one of my mentors. His name is Dr. Sudhir Arora in okay. Pune. One of the senior most trainers in Pune. Right. I was attending his workshop hmm. to learn. Hmm. And she was attending. Okay. Now, for a few days, I didn't even notice her, honestly speaking. But then right. there was this function where Dr. Rura said, come dressed up well and all. So the men were in the blazers and the women yeah. were in the saris and that's where I noticed her. <laughs> so that's the evening yeah. we met, we spoke, yeah. we became friends. The next day, I was delivering a course on loft action. This was how many years ago? 23. 23 years ago. Okay. And uh, I invited her for the workshop next day. That's where she got impressed, saying, this guy is good. Yeah. <laughs> so when I spoke to her about law of attraction in that program where I was teaching her, mm -hmm. is where after the program, mm. she had skepticism about does this really work? So <laughs> after that, I uh, obviously asked him 100 odd questions on law of attraction. Then we also went, I read a few books mm. and then I thought, okay, let me apply. So I started applying on small, small things. And then those small, small thing I converted into getting him, getting married to him only. Oh. <laughs> so, I, I so we literally attracted each other. So oh. I prepared a So you guys had a proof of law of attraction to begin yes. with. To begin with. Yeah, my marriage is a result of law of attraction. Oh, of so I'll tell you a backstory. Yeah. Before I met her, yeah. one week before that, so I had already had a couple of breakups by then. So I had okay. one of those guys who said, no, I never want to fall in love type of a guy. But then everybody eventually yeah. falls through that, right? Yeah. So time came and I said, okay, now it's time for a relationship. So mm. in my life, whenever I want something, instead of working hard, I use alignment or FTBA, right. use law of attraction. Yeah. So one of the techniques which we call visualization, I used it. And I said, okay, now I'm ready for a relationship. One week after that, mm. I attended the program which I was attending and that's mm. where I met her. What I would have believed is that law of attraction is a very recent thing. It's a very new trending thing, you know, but you're telling me this is something that you've been practicing over 20 years. And of course, the origin must be way before that. Yes. yes. Right. So how did you get introduced to this concept? When I was young, at, I mean, I'm still young. But <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. when I was 16 or so, I remember being a fan of superhero movies like Spider-Man, Superman, He-Man. Right. Always had this idea of, is it possible that we, hmm. we want something, get it effortlessly, magically? Hmm. And I remember reading this first book on, on law of traction. It was called The Silva Mind Control. And it blew my mind that there is a part of our brain, mm. if you tune into the frequency correctly, mm. I, I realized science that what we feel is what we attract. And if you really start feeling happy, you start attracting the right people in your life. And before reading that, all I was feeling was desperate. And then I started applying that in my life and I found something crazy. Law of traction is actually written, as you correctly said, years ago in Bhagavad Gita. Mm. So to an example, Bhagavad Gita says, uh, you are not body, you are soul. Hmm. You cannot take birth, you cannot die. Hmm. You only transform from one life to another life. Hmm. Physics says exactly the same thing in literally seven standard physics. It says matter equals energy. You're not body, you're soul. Yeah. Matter or energy cannot be destroyed. Energy cannot be created. Yeah. You cannot be killed, you cannot take birth. Very simple. If you are calling say 98.3, you are hmm. tuning into 98.3, which is I think Radio Mirchi in Mumbai. Right. So, if you tune into 98.3, it will play in Radio Mirchi. It will not play FM radio or yeah. Love or Ishq channel. It will right. play Radio Mirchi because you are tuning into the frequency of 98.3. So, you are actually by using FTBA, which is feeling, thoughts, beliefs and action, you are tuning into the frequency of what you are looking for. So, going back to your original question, can I manifest anything? Yes, you can. Yeah. If you tune into that frequency using FTBA, TBA. Okay, as is a food show, I want to know, is there a specific kind of <laughs> cuisine or food we should eat to get the right thought process <laughs> or to attract the right things? <laughs> I think you better order salad. <laughs> Something light would be fine because then I can connect to it. Okay, great. So, <clears throat> to begin with, let's start off with our Sunday brunch. Yep. Have a 
delicious spread here and yes. as you can see i'm attracting all the desserts <laughs> and you guys are attracting all the healthy stuff yes. is that a sign healthy is going there i'm this is the pizza part <laughs> <laughs> in the sense you are a very logical you know having a very scientific approach to everything i'm also like that extremely practical i question everything before believing perfect i want to know what was that turning point for you where you actually started believing what mitesh had been talking about we shared that we met mm. in a law of attraction program after mm. that he gifted me a couple of books mm. uh the silver mind control and there was one more creative mm. visualization by shakti gove Hmm. and that time i was uh, working too much actually in an organization and i right. wanted to change hmm. so we started applying uh, for my job okay and okay. i did get it whatever i wanted yeah. then i got into the uh, proper writing affirmation i wrote <laughs> affirmations right and that's where i wrote about the marriage part i was saying no for marriage at that time and he was saying no for the marriage that time we were dating Yeah. but he was saying no his mom was also saying no right and uh, so i just put it uh, as a recording yeah. I, i created the affirmations and yeah. i put the recording yeah and then uh, it just went on and after a few months i really don't know what happened to my mother in law she changed her mind and she said okay tujhe shaadi karni hai indus se chal kar le kar lo and she said it in january we got married <coughs> in february <laughs> really like yeah. in a month's time, a month's time. wow yeah. but of course her manifestation was stronger i'm just thinking of various scenarios yes. where two people are actually manifesting opposite things Correct. so whose dream would actually come true in that case when two people are running who would win the one who's running fastest right so whose thoughts would manifest faster the ones who are more congruent and see <laughs> in this case it may look like he was going opposite but he right. was not going opposite he was right. just uh, typical boys right uh, fear of committing yeah. nothing else yeah so he yeah. just didn't want to commit that time nothing right. else right. he was in love with me he was living with me yeah. we were having live in so everything was going fine so yeah. it was very easy for me to manifest marriage with him yeah ha if it was he was dating somebody else and somewhere else or That's a husband story. of sub, somebody yeah. else then it yeah. could have been different story we living in a world where everybody is afraid of commitment mm -hmm. uh, but they all want to have a partner of their own yep. i do want to know firstly a lot of people don't even know what they want to attract in their lives yes is that normal <laughs> that's it normal is. how do you first know what do i want in my life most people start with saying okay in a relationship i want a guy who has money who's settled who's this who's that hmm. but if you really observe all these materialistic things later disappear in marriage hmm. in a relationship hmm. what ends up remaining is the emotional experiences hmm. so what do you really want to manifest hmm. in law of attraction we say instead of clarifying the material reality first manifest the emotion that you want out of it first hmm. like what do you really want out of a marriage happiness hmm. manifest that first hmm. right now why are people not manifesting that hmm. that's where the law of attraction understanding comes in in advanced law of attraction so for an example in law of attraction one of the most important lessons in advanced law of attraction is something that you've probably never heard of have you heard about yin yang frequency no no so we all as human beings are yeah. made of energy right when we die there's no electricity in our body that means the energy is gone yeah. energy equals electricity yeah. right now i'm alive that means there's energy inside me hmm. now this energy has a certain frequency hmm. so as indu said at that time the frequency at which we vibrate at is what we attract in our life so if i'm a very short tempered person hmm. what kind of people will i attract people who make me more angry or less more angry just like that there are two energies within us which most mm. people are not aware of mm. there's something called as yin and yang energy called mm. as female energy and male energy right now you'll observe a lot of boys and girls right now struggling in marriage mm. why or struggling to attract a life partner mm. why because a lot of girls mm. born as girls so their superpower is the female energy mm. the feminine energy yeah. the yin energy yeah but because of let's say something went wrong in their childhood mm. they suddenly had to take more responsibilities in their house mm. so what happens is they are unconsciously they suppress the female energy and they enhance what the yang energy right which is what the aggressiveness uh the focus on career more than relationships mm. and the more they become yang mm. you'll observe that their choices start changing in their life mm. these girls would become more friends with boys rather than girls but the same girl would say I have a lot of friends who are boys mm -hmm. but none of them want to be romantically involved with me. Mm. Now why? Mm. Because the boys are sensing yang energy in her. Right. So the yang energy and yang energy become boy as friends but the chemistry is missing. Same happens with boys. A lot of boys are not succeeding in their career right now. Right. Because probably they've been dominated in their childhood and their yang energy is suppressed. So they're submissive, not able to take decisions, can't say no. Mm. Now what happens? <laughs> Think of a disaster of a girl who's got too much yang energy 
yeah. and a boy who's got too much yin energy attract each other. What happens now? On top of that, imagine that a girl has gone through, let's say, multiple breakups. Yeah. Now she starts collecting wounds in her past. Right. Of I don't want this in my relationship. I don't want that in my relationship. And then she's right. And attracting the same thing. Exactly. You'll see girls attracting the same problem in their next relationship again and again and again. Yeah. Why? Because the past wounds are not cleared up yet. Hmm. Now in law of attraction, there is a way, there is a science to be able to balance that yin yang energy, hmm. which is what we did with each other. I was not successful, by the way. Yeah. When I met her, I was a boy with yin energy. Yeah. And I was not successful in my professional life. So whenever yang energy is suppressed, professional life gets affected. Whenever yin energy is suppressed. Personal life gets affected. The feminine energy, the family life. Right. She was more yang energy, but then she came in on my life and she balanced me. Basically, we had uh, more like a yin yang imbalance. So I was working for an IT organization for 17 years. I yeah. was uh, running a team of 100 people, uh, super successful. And uh, this uh, gentleman, he was not doing anything. He was very yin. He was very soft spoken, hmm. not aggressive at all, not going after the goals or uh, hmm. this thing. He had dreams, hmm. but he was not going. Not able to take it. action. Uh, he was not ready hmm. to take action. Not able to take action. Hmm. So when I met him, obviously hmm. I pushed him. Hmm. We both rubbed on each other. I hmm. became little more yin. He became more yang. And so now uh, we both are assertive. Actually, we both are quite balanced now. I saw that Rithik Roshan is your brand ambassador. Yes. How did you guys attract that? Manifest. <laughs> <laughs> why Rithik Roshan? How did, I know that you guys attracted him. I'm a big fan of Rithik Roshan. So I want to know why Rithik Roshan? Okay, so one of the biggest reasons is when we make choices in our life, yeah. we always choose based on values about the person who's going to endorse our courses. Does he mm. really believe in it? And when we did a little research in Rithik's life, we realized that he's someone who is a very positive personality himself. Mm. He's gone through hardships. He's gone through his own struggles. But a personality who believes in law of attraction in his own way. Yeah. In fact, when we met him for the first time, hmm. he asked us questions which told us he knows law of attraction. He hmm. asked us about NLP, he asked us about hope, nope, no, which are some of the techniques of law of attraction. Yeah. So we were very clear, he knows it. Yeah. And we wanted someone who truly respects this topic. Right. And does, that's, that was the main reason I chose Rithik Roshan as the person to give more value to this course. But I think Indu will give her opinion. Yeah. So second reason was that I have seven Good looks. Pers- how? Good looks, of course. <laughs> that's, that's where I was coming. <laughs> so, my seventy percent of my community is uh, female community. Okay. And to top it up, that's a middle-aged uh, community, which is like uh, ladies who are between thirty to forty, hmm. and they all really big fan of Rithik Roshan. So the looks. Yeah. <laughs> the looks matters. So because of that reason, also we chose Rithik. So our show, we usually have a lot of Bollywood celebrities come on the show. I want to know. I, have you come across more Bollywood celebrities yes. who believe into law of attraction yes. and have they attracted, you know, being a film actor, film actress or anything yes. else into their life? Oldest one as a Hollywood celebrity, I would say Asian celebrity was Bruce Lee. Did you really? know that Bruce Lee had actually written a letter mm-hmm. that in this particular year, mm-hmm. I will make a movie and I will charge $1 million for that movie. He had written that letter like an affirmation and he had kept it in his pocket all his life. And he actually made that movie, uh, which made him famous. And that is why Bruce Lee has been mentioned in this. Not just him. There are many, many actors. So if you go to online and you look for Alia Bhatt's testimonials on this. Alia Bhatt says whenever she wants to uh, get an award. Yeah. She literally visualizes herself in the mirror saying, I got this award. And she acts as if she's receiving the award. So, so many of them have done it. So many of them. Sachin Tendulkar had mentioned that his brother had written on a note saying that Master Blaster. Hmm. And given that note to Sachin Tendulkar. And that uh, Sachin Tendulkar had that note with him and later people started calling him Master Blaster. This is so amazing. So basically, whatever you dream of can come true. And the biggest celebrity Shah Rukh said it himself in that movie. Mm. What was that dialogue? Yeah. Uh, Mm. Shaddat se chaho, to puri kainat usko tumse milane ki koshish karti. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to play a fun game. Okay. Wood is called Never Have I Ever. If you have, you've got to take a bite. Okay. I can see you guys are not eating, <laughs> so I had to come up with this game, okay? Right. So never have I ever faced difficulties in maintaining a positive mindset. I have. I have. I yeah. have. So do I have to take a bite yes, if I said that? Yes, you have to take a bite, yes. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we I found think, I, I think I, whatever my answer was, she would have said, have a bite. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever cut ties with people who constantly spoke negative things. I have. I have to. I have. Never have I ever intentionally attracted a specific person into my life. No, I have attracted a specific person in my life. I 
you are the oh, one that way huh? yeah yeah yes. or even rithik roshan yeah even rithik roshan we attracted very specifically <laughs> we asked for rithik roshan and we attracted it we attracted roshan. It. and then we asked for being on this channel with kamya and we are here oh wow <laughs> <laughs> okay then you got to take a really big okay, bite of go. this one <laughs> never have i ever achieved something without any hard work lots of things Lots of things. We believe in effortless magic, effortless yeah. success. We got a lot of things without lots of effort. Yeah. Even coming on this channel, I don't think we have put in a lot of efforts to come on. <laughs> uh, a lot of times when people would say, oh, so you must have struggled a lot to be where you are, right? Yeah. Honestly, I have not. Life has been good to me. And if I don't say that, yeah. it will not be true more in the future. So why should I lie that life has been good to me? For some people, it may have been not true. They may yeah. have struggled a lot. But they can stop those struggles if they practice law of attraction. And believe it or not, the day the first webinar date happened was the day COVID hit. Oh! And because everybody was at home, yeah, my webinar was awesome. full. <laughs> and that day, people bought the course like crazy, and I was suddenly as successful as I was in the corporate training financially, even though my corporate trainings were shut. Wow. So my income just got replaced. That at one point we had to start saying no to corporate workshops. Hmm. And now we do this full time from home. So. The turning point was that day. Wow! Second turning point. Can you tell me about some other, um, you know, of your, uh, you know, students who have actually transformed, you know, their dreams into reality with some examples? We had one case where uh, the guy was uh, under debts uh, of forty lakhs in okay. two thousand seven. Hmm. Uh, two thousand seven forty lakhs was a big amount. Uh, today it may not be. But Even today is for yeah. some Today's parts like yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> but 2007, it was definitely a very big amount. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was in debt. His uh, life was screwed up completely. His uh, family was not getting along with him. His wife was almost about to step out of the house. Mm -hmm. His kids were not getting along. And he almost decided to commit suicide. And then uh, somebody uh, from our family told him that, why don't you go and meet this Mitesh? Uh, so he came and met us uh, uh, and he said, you are my last option. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to commit suicide. Yeah, I was like, that's a test. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to help him out. We told him that anyway, you have the option of suicide. Don't worry about it. Uh, it just give us one month. Hmm. And in one month, we taught him the complete law of attraction, basic as well as advanced. Hmm. And within three months, he cleared off all his debts. Today, yeah. he makes huge lot of money. He's sorted in his life. He's found somebody, yeah. and his his health, relationship, career, money, everything is settled completely. And we have thousands of such people. Wow, that is thousands. so inspirational. It but is it is inspiring for us as well yeah. as actually. But I'll tell you the best stories of all, and mm. I think all of you will relate to this story because it relates to somebody who's worked for our nation. Mm. So, have you seen the movie The Secret? Yes. Yeah. So, in the movie Secret, there's a particular scene mm. where there's a pilot. If you remember, he crashes. Yeah. And they tell him that you'll never walk again. Mm. And he manifests that on uh, Thanksgiving Day, I remember in the movie, he says, I'm going to walk out. Yeah. And he walks out. Do you remember that scene? So I saw that scene and I said, one day I want to help someone like him. <laughs> and about a uh, couple of years ago, uh, I got this email. 2020. 2020, 2020. From an Air Force pilot of our country wow. saying, I just had an accident. My plane crashed. Fighter jet. Every bone of my body is broken right now. I heard about your book, Law of Traction, from my wife. Can you help me? And I said, how can I help? He said, put me back in the cockpit. I was like, okay. <laughs> so we met on Zoom. And in Law of Traction, one of the things we say is, don't ask, don't ask too much about the how part. Don't but Focus on the, yeah, yeah. Don't question the process, <laughs> yeah. but focus on the end result that you'll get it and use the strategies of Law of Traction. Right. So we started working with him, just mm. like she said with Manoj. Mm. With Preetam, we started working on Zoom on a regular mm. basis mm -hmm. in coaching. We started visualizing, we started doing affirmations, everything, all advanced Law of Traction. It took us a year. He started building his body again. There were he had multiple surgeries in that meantime. Multiple. Multiple surgeries. And believe it or not, in three years, he's back in the cockpit. Yeah, last wow. year, he went back in the cockpit. We have a detailed yeah. video Sounds of unbelievable. it. Yep. He sent me the photograph that day saying, look, I'm back. <laughs> you know, especially for health, we only rely either on doctors <laughs> or Bhagwan ke bharose. Now it's also the law of attraction yes. through which you can actually get your health back. Yes. Which is which is commendable. And Absolutely. I'm sure you guys are doing some great and brilliant job there. So thank you very much thank for you. that. What do you think is the premise of most people's sufferings in today's day and age? More or less everybody's life turns around in four areas. Mm -hmm. Health, relationships, mm -hmm. career and money. But okay. if you ask us majority people who come to us mm -hmm. come for what? Yeah. Believe it or not, it's relationships and money. 
Hmm. Career more or less people are fine, but right. it's the relationship part and the money part money that people part. struggle with yeah. most of the time. Hmm. So we have to sometimes give proof to people hmm. in the law of traction workshop saying it works. Hmm. So here's the proof. What I have in my hands is a crystal right now. It's hmm. a very simple crystal, hmm. nothing voodoo type magic. Yeah. Uh, you can get it into any normal crystal store. Okay. <laughs> and it's it's also called a dowser sometimes. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this crystal right now, like this, hmm. and. If you see my elbows hmm. rested, my hand is rested. Hmm. So am I moving the crystal right now? No. No. So I'm going to talk to the crystal. Okay. Now, as per you, does the crystal understand our language? No, of no. course not. And in law of traction, we say at the energy level, we are all one. Okay. So now I'm going to talk to this crystal and I'm going to ask it to move on the right side and let's see what happens. Hmm. So crystal starts moving, start moving right, 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 right. Now, if you see slowly, it's changing directions. Right, right, keep moving right, right. Now move a little faster for me, move a little faster for me. Come on, you can do that, yeah, go faster, go faster, go faster. Prove it to them that you can move, prove it to them that you can listen to me. Come on, keep moving. Now, I want you to stop so that they know that you're listening to me again. And if you see when I say stop, it's moving the directions and changing the directions because it's moving. Now, and I'm also observing your hand and your yeah. elbow which is not moving. It's right? not moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's not like I am special. You can do this with your hands and it'll work. Now, why is this working? This has energy. Hmm. So if I'm saying good things, yeah. it's moving in that direction. If I'm saying bad things, it's moving in that direction. So now imagine all the time during the day I say, I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated. So more frustration comes to your life. Everything obviously. around you is listening to you. Right. The frustration energy starts tuning into you and you start attracting situations which frustrates you more. But what do those people do who don't have crystals at home? So let's prove something. Yeah. Put your hand like this. Okay, yeah. so what we're going to do is, you're going to keep your hands a little up straight. Okay. And she's going to push your hand down. Okay. You've got to use all your strength to resist. Okay. To recognize how much strength do you have for yourself. Okay. So it's not a competition that hmm. she has to push you down. Right. But you're just testing your own strength. Okay. So she'll push as hard as she can. You resist as much to, as like, you can. Push it no. up, right? Not push it yeah. up. Just resist Let it. Resist it. Okay. But while okay. resisting, I right. want you to say your name. Kamya. Say I'm Kamya. Say I'm Kamya. I'm and Kamya. Resist. Use all your strength. I'm Kamya. I have to repeat or just keep repeating. I'm Kamya. Oh, sorry. Well, that's all right. Now, can <laughs> you understand how much strength you have right now? You yeah. can feel it. Now, yeah. camera can't feel it, but you can yeah. feel it. Yeah. Now, once again, you're going to keep your hand a little up. Right. This time, you're going to say, I am Indu. I am Indu. And use okay. all your strength. Okay. And let's see if the same strength is available in you. Okay. Go ahead. Say. Hmm. Say. I am Indu. I am Indu. <laughs> now, you may say, because I'm tired. Okay. So, I'm going to use one finger now. Okay. Hand up. Take care. Okay. So, let's say, say again, I am Kamya. I am Kamya. You see your strength came back? Yeah. Now, say, I am Indu. I am Indu. You see? <laughs> Just using one finger. I tried really hard yeah, when I, I said I'm in the Now when you say I'm coming again, it'll yeah. come back. <laughs> okay. Why does that happen? Because I believe more. You got it. So what is belief? Yeah. A belief is something that is integrated in every cell of your body and you believe it. Yeah. If you positive. say positive things, your body goes stronger. Strong. Right. You start having positive feelings. Yeah. So your body goes stronger and that positive frequency starts attracting positive people in your life, positive situations, opportunities. But the moment you start lying to yourself, the moment you start thinking negative, hmm. uh, let's say you criticize somebody hmm. and you're constantly judging somebody. Hmm. What frequency would you call that? Positive or negative? Negative. Your body goes weak, hmm. emotion goes weak, thoughts go weak. Hmm. And now you start attracting negative things in your life. Mitish, do you always feel positive? I'm nope. sure there must be some moments when, when you don't feel positive. Good question. Good question. So because you're all humans at the end of the day. At the end of the day, yes. So yeah. the idea is not to feel positive all the time. Hmm. The idea is to catch yourself when you're feeling negative. So if you're hmm. feeling negative, hmm. then just catch yourself. Don't go in that slippery slope. Just catch yourself, say cancel, cancel. Replace it with the gratitude. Hmm. Anything. You can just say thank you for the food, thank you for the air, thank you for the light, clothes, hmm. whatever. Hmm. Just replace it. If hmm. any of our viewers is looking to attract love and relationship in their lives, sure. what is it that they can do? Learn to make the right affirmations first. Hmm. Because the more you say your affirmations, and how do you make your affirmations? Very hmm. simple trick is, Say it as if you already have it. So let's say okay. you're meeting your best friend mm -hmm. after many days mm -hmm. and you're telling your best friend you found the love of your life and you're married. Mm -hmm. How would you say that? That's your affirmation. Mm -hmm. So I call it the best friend technique. But you go and tell the best friend? Or no, you no, no, it's, no, it's no, a technique you use in your okay. head and you write it down saying, okay, uh, so let's say I'm, my best friend is Hindu. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. hey Hindu, you know what? This year I got married and it is one of the best experiences of my life. You see how natural this is a conversation with my best friend. That has to become an affirmation. The mistake people make is many times their affirmations sound very fake. 
like yeah. thank you god i'm so happy that i got this hmm. but even when you say it you feel not yeah. so sure yeah. but if you make it a natural conversation hmm. at least your mind believes it yeah. so one is start saying the right affirmations hmm. two is start using a vision board where you have a beautiful picture hmm. of you already married to someone now right. if it's someone you already love like hmm. in our case then you can take that picture yeah. or you can take a beautiful picture of let's say a married couple where the face is not really clear yeah. except yours right these are a couple of techniques but other than that if i had to go towards advanced law of attraction hmm. very important part for those people who really want to find love learn to love yourself first hmm uh, we'll observe a lot of people are not getting married because their frequency is loneliness hmm they want to get married to find happiness hmm. they want to get it, get married to find companionship right but if i am lonely yeah and i want to get married to somebody to have companionship hmm that means i'm using that person for my dependency crutch like a crutch yeah but the moment you go close to somebody they can feel your frequency they can feel your energy that you're desperate you're lonely hmm how attractive is attractive as a lonely person hmm how how much chemistry would you have with a person who's desperate right you wouldn't right but if a person is full of love himself or herself hmm there's a glow on their own face because they love themselves the way they are with or without somebody so once you start falling in love with yourself using some of these lessons mm. now you do the right affirmations for attracting a life partner it will work what about money first and foremost uh, whenever you are buying something mm. you are uh, giving money to somebody uh, give money with blessings mm. so we have a line where which where we say that go with love grow with love so when you are giving money instead of saying are ye maine 10 rupees de diye bhi 10 rupees kam ho gaye don't mm. feel that way yeah. instead say go with love grow with love that's one mm. when you are looking at something and it has a price tag and which you can't afford for some reason Yeah. Instead of saying I can't afford, say thank you, hmm. and just move on from there, yeah. because hmm. you can definitely afford little better than little earlier product than that one. Hmm. So, so just say thank you instead of uh, dwelling into the thought that oh I can't afford, I'm short of money, I'm lack hmm. of money. So don't get into all that thing. Hmm. And third and most important thing is saying thank you for the money you have, hmm. because there are a lot of people who don't even have that much of money. Hmm. You you're getting the food, you're getting the clothes, you have the house to live, you have the everything, whatever you need daily, you have money for that. So say thank you for that. These are the major thing you can do for thank you. What about health? You'll observe a lot of people say I want to be healthy, but then immediately during the day they'll say things like I'm a foodie. <laughs> right so then it's going opposite to your affirmation <laughs> is that for me <laughs> okay but then there are people who like you also who would have two affirmations i am a foodie and i love being healthy yeah so then those are complementing affirmations together hmm. but there are people who would say khane ke liye to jeete hain hmm okay so then what happens is they will eat and they will keep eating yeah. and they will justify that eating yeah now that becomes their identity that i am someone who's a foodie and i don't care if i grow weight hmm So the strongest force in psychology is to be aligned with one's own identity. I keep saying I'm lazy, I become lazy. Hmm. My entire psychology now helps me to be lazy because I'm saying I am lazy. I hit or if I say I'm hard working that becomes you. Yeah. So start with that affirmation that I am healthy, I'm a health freak. I love being healthy. I love eating healthy food. Yeah. Instead of like a lot of people when they look at salad they make faces. Yeah. Gaspoos. Mm-hmm. Gaspoos. Yeah. yeah, they say these negative things. <laughs> yeah. But instead of that, it's okay to eat some pizza. But can you also eat that salad by saying, "I love eating healthy food. Yeah. I love eating water-rich foods. I love eating yeah. fruits." Yeah. The more you say that, the more it works. But other than that, this is part of affirmation, which is again basic law of attraction. Hmm. Now, in advanced law of attraction, one of our courses is called as NLP, called hmm. as Neuro Linguistic Programming, hmm. where instead of using willpower, you use psychological techniques hmm. to make yourself like anything or dislike anything in ten minutes. Really. One yeah. of the best examples I can give you is there was this one guy who came to me who was eating literally one double cheese pizza every day. Okay. Medium size every day. Now, does he know that it's bad for him? I'm yes. sure he does. Yes. <laughs> one of the reasons he came to me is because he said I know it's bad for me but I just can't stop myself. Hmm. So I did this NLP technique on him for 10 15 minutes hmm. and he never had a pizza after that. Because you can take anything in your brain which you like and you make hmm. it your make yourself dislike it. That in ten minutes, in which means minutes. like a lot of people who are addicted to drinking, smoking, a lot of habits that are He not himself, good for you. I yeah. used to smoke. I He was a smoker. Smoke. I used to smoke forty cigarettes a day, two packets. Wow. Every ten oh minutes, I had a God. cigarette in my hands, and I was able to quit smoking hmm. in a one session of NLP with myself and with my coach, and it was done. After that, I never smoked. Now, does it mean that only one session is necessary? No. Then you hmm. kind of reinforce that, hmm. right? Like 
it's good to brush your teeth once yeah but it's also good to brush your teeth every day right. i'm not saying you'll need these techniques every day yeah. but once you learn it for yourself then you can use it on yourself every day uh, let's talk about career career so for somebody who really wants to flourish in their careers mm. so very simple again the same thing what do you want Uh, you mm-hmm. should look for that. Again, we we generally suggest that don't go for the name of the organization. Go for what you want to experience. Hmm. That uh, you have the project of your choice. You have hmm. very good team. You have very good manager. Hmm. The location is very nice. The organization is very nice. The designation is nice. Hmm. The salary is of your choice. So just list down the things the you are result. looking for. The end result. not the name of the organization when you say you want a job job in xyz and if that joy job is not good for you and if that designation is not good for you you will sulk there instead focus on the end result what are you looking for the position the work the team everything the experience you are going to have there this is a very interesting and i'll tell you about myself i always wanted to my end result was to be able to travel the world yeah. wow you know wow. as simple as that i just want to travel the world mm. okay and Today, I I am never at home. <laughs> you are traveling. <laughs> Constantly <laughs> traveling the world without knowing how yeah. I will get there. Exactly. I just knew that I want to be able to travel the world without having to spend too much because at that time, I wasn't like making a lot of money. Not that I am still making a lot of money, but yeah, it's great. Cancel, can cancel. cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. my whole point was i just want to travel the world and i want to be invited to travel the world wow that's a good one i just wanted to be invited now how does one even think about it you know but that thought came to me because as a journalist you were invited as for familiarization trips but right. that was just like once a year or something but that once a year was so such an enjoyable experience for me right Today my inbox is full of various tourism boards inviting me to travel, but I don't have enough dates to give them. Yeah. So now I, I'm, I want to attract more dates and more hours in my life, <laughs> so I'm able to do that. Absolutely. But so if yeah. you see exactly mm. in your case, you didn't mm. know how it will manifest. Yeah. Mm. But, but unconsciously, you were using law of attraction principles that got manifested. Right. So a lot of people ask me, mm. does law of attraction work? And I say, mm. when is it not working? Yeah. Because are you always feeling something? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Are you always thinking and saying something? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Are you always believing and acting something? Yes. Hmm. So at any point of time, as far as you are alive and you are feeling, thinking, hmm. believing, and acting, hmm. you are vibrating at a certain frequency. Right. So law of attraction is always working for you. So in yeah. your case, it was working every time you said, "Yeah, one day I want to travel the world. Yeah, I want to be tra- invited. Invited. And, invited to travel. The and world. probably I want to yeah. get paid for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now exactly. you are in that exact position. Right. But there are a lot of people out there who want a happy life. Who want a peaceful life, correct? But they don't know what do they want to attract in their life. In law of attraction, we use a very beautiful technique called water technique, hmm. where you take water uh, in a hmm. water bottle hmm. and you fill up this water bottle and hmm. put a tag on it hmm. and write down clarity. And you keep it next to your bedside. And in the morning, that's the water you have every day. You just write clarity. Just write clarity. Do it for twenty-one days, and I've got hundreds of students who said, "I was confused for the last many years in my life, hmm. but after fifteen days of using this water, now I'm suddenly clear and I know what to do." Mm. I'm getting the right ideas. I'm getting a lot of clarity. Mm. Now, why does that work? Because mm. water has energy. Yeah. The word clarity has energy. Right. So when I wrote clarity on that water, the mm. water absorbed that energy, and that's mm. the water I'm having in the morning. So you literally vibrated that frequency of clarity. So you started attracting the right thoughts. Right. So that's one f- exercise that you could use. Here's another beautiful exercise. When you ask people what do they want, a lot of times, not sure. Yeah. Ask people what do they don't want. <laughs> They're very sure. sure. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you ask a person what kind of a person you don't want in your life. Yeah. Very clear. Huge. Yeah. Good. I'm glad because that can lead you to clarity. How? We call it the clear contrast exercise. Hmm. Write down everything you don't want. Let's say in a relationship you want to get married to somebody. Yeah. Write down everything you don't want in a life partner. Hmm. And now write the exact opposite because what you don't want tells you what you do want. What you do want. Right. <laughs> That's a contrast exercise. No. I don't want a person who's very angry. Hmm. So what's the opposite of that? I want a person who's very calm. Yeah. I don't want a person who's very boring. Hmm. So who's the kind of person you want? I want fun. a person fun. Person. <laughs> See? Yeah. So easy. I don't want a person who wants to stay at home all the time. Yeah. So what kind of a person do you want? Someone who loves to travel. How about I once achieve what I want? Okay, I've got I've attracted that thing. How so do I sustain it? Uh, I was once doing a workshop for hmm. um, defense. Hmm. and i remember we were coming out of the nda hmm. and i was asking the colonel that many times hmm. a lot of these army people when after many years when they retire hmm. sometimes their standards of physique drops hmm. Hmm. why he said what they are missing later is the environment hmm. right when they live in the national defense academy with that environment that environment has an impact 
True. Right? Like you live in the media world, mm. there's an environment. Yeah. The moment you leave that world and you go and stay in the mountains, mm. your behavior is going to shift automatically. Mm. Right? So one of the things that people need to do when they come to a certain level mm. is create an environment to vibrate at the similar people. And that's where life coaching comes in. So we say, come and join our, one of our programs called as Platinum Membership, mm. where you vibrate at the level of people who have already achieved that success. A lot of times people are not able to sustain their results because they don't have the right environment. So one of the things we do in our Law of Traction courses, we create a lifetime coaching called mm. Platinum Membership, right. where people get together and they work together and they make a big family so that every time their results go down, mm. they have a huge friend circle, they have a huge family whom they can fall back upon who's constantly upholding their standards. Their standards about what their health should be like. Their standards about what their relationship should be like. Career should be like. Money should be like. And never allowing yourself to go below standards. So surround mm. yourself with people of two types. Mm. One is positive people, of course. Yeah. People who, who are like you. Yeah. But more importantly, surround yourself with people who you want to become like. Right. So if I want to be one of the best coaches in the world, then mm. I need to be surrounded by the best coaches in the world. Mm -hmm. If I want to be the best journalist in the world, then I want to be surrounded by those kind of people. Right. Because if I'm not, then my standards will drop. That's the way to maintain frequency. So if, I, if you mm -hmm. want to make more money, then surround yourself with the people who have more money. Mm -hmm. And of course, whenever you say something negative, one of the ways to ma maintain that frequency mm -hmm. is during the day, we say so many negative things. Yeah, like I just said, right, that I didn't have enough money or yeah. yeah. So you immediately say cancel, cancel. Not that I still do, I said. So yeah. That's so right. what, how can I rephrase a line like that? So after you say cancel, cancel, immediately mm. say what you want mm. as if you have it. So for an example, you said I don't have enough money. Mm. So what's what do you want? I want lots of money. So I, I, I have lots so of money. So then you just put, you put the have in it yeah. and you got it. So just okay. replace the want with the have. I already have a lot of money. Yeah. Instead of using those negative phrases, say mm. cancel, cancel. It's normal to say negative. Yeah. But cancel, cancel, cancel and cancel. say what you want by saying I have it. But you also said something about boundaries. Is there anything that is unrealistic and one should bilkuli out of the box jo hoi nahi sakta, aisa kuch hota hai that people yes. should know of? And so for an example, you can't go to the top of this building. Hmm. Say the affirmation, I can fly, I can fly and just jump. Hmm. You're not going to fly. Hmm. You're going to fall because it's law of gravity. Hmm. So there are other laws along with law of attraction, hmm. which is law of gravity. Hmm. These laws, they don't conflict with each other. They are complementing each other. Right. So you cannot suddenly go against these laws and make mm. things work for yourself. So another very famous thing that people ask me is, if I buy a lottery, can I suddenly become a millionaire without working? Yeah. No, you cannot. Money is an energy that comes in your life mm. through somebody else. But why would somebody give you money? Mm. If you add value in their life, mm. the more value I have added in people's life, either qualitatively or quantitatively, mm. which means, let's say I add value in the lives of millions of people, then I make millions. Yeah. If I add value in the lives of only few people, but that few people, I add multi-million dollar value in their life, exactly. they give me millions of money. So either ways, I have to ex there has to be an exchange of energy. So the way to make more money in your life is not just to think about, okay, I have money in my life, hmm. but to work for it and give it that action frequency also. Wow, that's amazing. So I want to know, I'm sure a lot of our audiences are now intrigued and would want to know, how can they attract the law of attraction in their lives, in their daily lives yep. that they practice and bring about a transformation in their thought process, in their actions and everything. What do you recommend? Are you running any courses for them? Is it an introductory course that they can be introduced to? Because our intention at Curly Tales is to help our viewers as much yep. as possible. Absolutely. So there is a free course we have, which is called as the Advanced Law of Attraction course. Okay. There's a master class. Okay. The first lesson is absolutely free for the Curly Tail audience. Oh, we'll wow. give you the link to okay. that. And not just that, we'll give you something more. We run a program called Daily Magic Practice for full 30 days. And it's a 30-day subscription right. where people okay. pay monthly for it like a gym. Hmm. Every day at night, 9 p.m., I personally meet people live on Zoom. Okay. And about 500 people log in every day. Okay. And they dance, they have fun. We practice law of traction, we practice affirmations. I teach them how to do affirmations there. And every single day is different. Hmm. So instead of buying that subscription, I'm giving the first 30 days free to all of you. Wow, that's so amazing. The, the link is provided below. Please sign up and you'll get 30 days free. Yeah, you'll get thanks to see Mitesh 30 days actually. <laughs> that is amazing. So click on the link in description and you guys would get a free course for 30 days. And after that, you can either practice it for yourself or always be in touch with Mitesh where, they, where he can help you, you know, manifest all mm -hmm. your dreams come true. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Midesh Indu, it's been wonderful talking to you. Thank I'm you. definitely going to sign up for this course <laughs> and would want to learn a lot more on this. Um, and got to finish all the food here. <laughs> all the food? <laughs> yes, as much as possible. <laughs> Thank you so much. You Thank guys you. have given Thank us you. such wonderful tips and ideas of living a fulfilling life. And this is the least we can do for you. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so much.